Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are going to be trying out some of the goodies that I've got. Um, I recently did an art haul video and I will leave that linked in the video description below so you have an idea of what I'm talking about. But today we are going to be playing with some Crescent Watercolor Board, my new Daniel Smith paints, and we're also going to be trying out Gold Leaf for the first time. So while I am sketching out this tonic bottle that I'm going to be painting, I just wanted to let you guys know that this is not going to be the official setup for my channel. I only have one of my lights hooked up right now and I'm going to be changing the uh, background back to the gray flooring that I used to use. Um, partly because I don't like how yellow the wood is showing up in the video, so I do apologize. I don't mean for it to be that way, and in the next video it will not be that. It's going to be the gray that it used to be in some of my previous videos, and um, like I said, I only have one of my lights hooked up because I need to mount the other one um, on a piece of wood, so I apologize for any inconsistencies in this video that might be a little hard to see but I think for the most part it came out okay so we're just gonna have to roll with it for this video and um, as always I'm trying to always make the videos better for you guys so if you have any suggestions or anything that you want to see please let me know in the comments below and I will try to accommodate those requests okay so um, I don't know why, but I am in a very Halloween-y type mood, and <laughs> I don't know if it's because um, I'm feeling very agitated or what, but I'm very, very distracted by Halloween-y type things right now, and I'm not sure why, so I decided to go ahead and sketch out this tonic bottle. So that's what we're doing today. Um, so right now I am cutting the watercolor board because one of my pieces was dented so I figured I would just make a square out of it and then I transferred it with tracing paper and transfer paper on to the watercolor board. Um, so some of the things to note about the watercolor board is that it did cut fine so if you do need to cut it into a square or some kind of any other weird type shape you you can do that pretty easily. It took me a couple swipes with um, my X-Acto knife, so that wasn't too difficult. And it was really nice to paint on. I really enjoyed working with the paint on this, and obviously I was more than generous with my water when I was um, painting, just to test out the durability of the board itself. And I was relatively happy with it. Um, there was some buckling towards the end, but all in all, I think it's because I didn't cover the whole board with water. So it probably would have flattened back out to shape, but you guys will see that at the end. But it does tank the paint really well. And it's really fun to work on. It's nice not having my stuff taped down and I can move it around and side to side. And obviously you can tape the edges if you wanna make a nice border. I did not go all the way to the edge of the paper because this is just an experiment and I wanted to see what the watercolor board was able to do and I wanted to see what the paints would do and then obviously I wanted to try out some gold leaf. So today is just basically one giant experiment. And all in all, that's pretty much exactly what I needed this week was just like a no pressure experiment. Let's play with this, let's play with that, and then, you know, just keep playing with stuff. I am relatively pleased with the result that I got. Um, after messing with this stuff, there's some stuff that I would have done differently. But um, you never figure those things out unless you actually experiment and play with your tools. So I'm definitely going I really liked working on the board I'm not gonna lie I did like it a lot um, my concern is that if it does buckle I'm wondering how I would be able to flatten that back out because you know under normal circumstances I would have wet the back of the watercolor paper and then laid it flat down on some laid it flat down on that 
with some glassine underneath and then stacked books on top. But because I can't really wet the back of the board, I'm wondering if I would just flatten out the entire thing under books for a long time. Um, it wasn't drastic or anything crazy. And like I said, I do think that if I would have painted on the entire board, it wouldn't have warped at all. But I mean, you live and you learn and it, it might be because I cut it. I'm not 100% positive right now, but I will definitely be playing with more of this. I have two more watercolor boards to experiment with and I will definitely keep you guys posted on all of the buckling issues or any if they arise. So moving on to how I felt about the new paints that I got. I did get some Daniel Smith paints in my last art haul video and I am so happy with them. Um, you will see that I do have my Windsor and Newton Cotman watercolor pan set out as well. Um, it turns out that I made some poor choices when it came to my yellow. I really only got one yellow and it was a little too golden and I needed a brighter one, more primary one. Um, so I did have to dip into my my old pan set to get some stronger and brighter yellows out of there, uh, which was weird for me because normally I feel like yellow is one of the colors that I very rarely need and there's always an abundance of them. Like even in colored pencil sets, there's just always this ridiculous amount of yellow. So I just kind of skimped on it and I wish I wouldn't have. So I will be adding some more of the um, simpler colors to my list because I do feel like I need a cooler red as well or a warm red I can't remember which one I have I think I might need a, a warm red I think I have a cool red I'm not 100% positive but um, as my collection grows I will obviously keep you guys posted on what colors I get um, I definitely wasn't a fan of the purple one that I got it was very um, I want to say the texture of it was it felt really gooey and the pigment, it wasn't very pigmented at all. It was like a very pastel um, purplish color and I did not like it at all. So I'm not sure if I'll be using that one a lot, but um, I'm hoping that <laughs> I can mix it with some white gouache maybe and make it a really nice thick pastel um, color or like it was the texture of it for some reason I didn't like. So I'm hoping that if maybe I mix it with some gouache, I will like it and just use it with my gouache paints instead. But all in all, the rest of the colors, I mean, the paints gray was great. The lunar black was great. All of the greens and stuff were wonderful. Even though they're not used in this piece, I did play with them in my watercolor sketchbook and they are all awesome. The only one I wasn't really a fan of was that weird purple that I got, but a pastel a nice pastel purple and watercolor is actually really hard to come by so I will be looking into getting a new one of those okay so let's do a little quick recap the watercolor board that I'm using is a crescent watercolor board and I do really really like it the texture of it, uh, it's kind of like an in-between a cold press and a hot press, so it's nice and smooth to work on. And my Daniel, Spaints, my Daniel Smith paints um, are awesome, so I'm really happy with all of those options and the things that I bought there. And soon we are going to be starting with the gold leaf. <laughs> which was a lot more challenging than I thought it was going to be. I watched a ton of videos. I signed up for Skillshare, which I'm addicted to, by the way, you guys. I really thought the hype was just the hype. And I was like, well, okay, so I'll just go ahead and try, you know, two free months and see if I can learn how to gold leaf or whatever. And I have been addicted to it for two weeks straight. So I do actually recommend you guys check it out if you if you have the option to use a free two month thing, um, definitely check it out. It's so worth it. Even if you just stop after the two free months, you learn a ton and there's a ton of different teachers on there so you can find the ones that you can learn from the best. Um, so I did find a gold leaf class and it was simple enough. And then things are always harder when you go to put them into practice. <laughs> So just a heads up, I went into this in complete experiment mode and I'm not 100% sure what happened, <laughs> but 
I totally spazzed out and I just couldn't figure this out for a while and I was really, really wondering what I was doing wrong and I'm like, okay, something's not right here and so I will, <laughs> it's so hard to explain. I'm so embarrassed. I can't even believe that I didn't, I, it turns out the first time, the first two times that I did this, I had grabbed the wrong bottle and I had grabbed the sealer instead of the actual adhesive. So I was doing it wrong for two times and then I'm like, okay, there's gotta be something going on. And I thought it was just because maybe I was just doing a little bit of fine detail work instead of big, nice chunks like you see most people do. Uh, no, um, apparently I was a dumb dumb and just decided that I would use the sealer instead of the adhesive. So um, pro tip, make sure you read the bottle before you actually apply <laughs> apply this to your stuff. You know, unless you wanna be super awesome like me and blame your brush and your board and everything else that you can think of to be mad at and um, not even think that you're using the wrong bottle because that can't happen in real life. That's not a thing. <laughs> anyway, um, so once I figured out what I was doing wrong, it got a lot easier, but um, yeah, that was, I almost quit Gold Leaf at that point and I was going to pull out my gold ink. So I'm, I'm really glad that I stepped away and came back and looked at both the bottles and I was like, oh, oh my God, Kelly, you're such a ding dong. <laughs> Oh yeah, by the way you guys, um, just so you know, all those flakes that you actually flake off of your piece, you can actually keep them in a jar, all your extras, and actually use them again. So don't feel like you need to throw away all that excess, I'm actually going to hold on to it. I actually used a whole page three times trying to figure out what I was doing wrong <laughs> with this whole piece. But uh, like I said, I did figure it out. I, the result of the gold leaf process was not that great, but now that I definitely have tried it three times and figured out, um, you know, to use the right bottle. And then another key thing is to wait. You're supposed to wait between 10 and 30 minutes. So it depends on how thick you have your thing on there and how milky it is because it's, it's it looks like milk when you put it on the adhesive does not the sealer the sealer looks like glue so make a note of that but it looks like milk so you need it to it needs to dry clear and be somewhat tacky for the gold leaf to stick and actually once you use the adhesive it's a lot easier to brush off um, so it actually become, became quite fun after that. And some people, I did notice, they use their inking nibs to actually do fine detail work with the adhesive. And it works out a lot better for them that way. Um, so I'm definitely gonna try the, the nib next time with the adhesive and see how that turns out. But all in all, this was a really fun day and I, played with so much stuff and I learned a lot of stuff today so I'm you know it is what it is and the piece came out sort of cool the gold the gold leaf looks a little weird but um all in all I think I like it okay so let's take a quick close-up here and I'll show you guys the slight buckling or bowing um, that I was talking about right here. It's very, very minimal, and I'm sure it will actually flatten out. It might not even be completely dry when I'm showing you this. Um, I'm looking at it now, and it's still a little bowed, so we will definitely have to keep you posted on that. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do all those YouTube things, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.